so hey guys welcome back this is virin kumar so in this lecture we will discuss how we can learn the devops within or less than 6 month if you are a beginner or if you are a automation engineer and if you want to switch the devops technology and how much time it will take to learn for you as i have learned the devops technology less than 6 month of course it will take the times because there are the many tools that we have to understand and after that we need some hands on experience for the devops technology so all the preparations will take around 6 month or less than the 6 month as per my experience if you follow these steps you can learn devops within the 6 month or less than the 6 month yeah so how we can start with the devops technology this is the first questions now who can learn the devops technology and who can go with the devops engineering role so here is the answer that if you are from the automation background if you know how to perform the automation testings then you can switch easily in the devops technology any software engineer who has completed the btech in the computer science or any stream and if he knows the devops technology and the tools he can apply for the devops engineering in the it sector but if you are not from the it backgrounds then you need to do the more efforts to learn the devops now how we can start learning the devops within the 6 month so step number 1 you can start with the version control systems and git is the most used in the it sector version control system you can start learning the git from the basics the most important thing about git is it is a open source project and you can install on your windows machine and you can start learning the basic commands of the git how to push the code how to pull the code how to create the branch and how to merge the code so you can learn all these commands in the gits then it will good for you to work with the git second create a github account and push the one demo project that you want to use for your hands on practice so you push the code to the github account for your practice now coming to the second automation and the continuous integration tool so you can start with the jenkins jenkins is the open source continuous and the automation tool which is used by most of the companies and it is very easy to learn so you can download and set up the jenkins on your windows machine or the linux machine and you can start creating the continuous integration pipeline in the jenkins you create your job in the jenkins pull the code from github to the jenkins and start building the code next one then you need to start learning the container technology so docker is the best tool to learn the container technology so you can start the docker from the basics what are the docker commands you can learn the docker how to create the image how to push the image and how to start the docker container so all these you can learn as part of the docker knowledge so this will take time to learn the docker once you finish the docker then you start learn how to set up the docker on the jenkins or with the jenkins so this is the integration of the jenkins with the docker and once you learn the integration between the jenkins and the docker it will be easy to understand the devops technology after that once you learn the docker then after that you start with the configuration management tool so configuration management tool like shape puppet and the ansible so you can learn any you can learn any of the tools as part of the configuration management because we want the configure to the system so that is also the part of the devops culture devops is a technology devops is a culture and configuration management is the part of the devops so you can start learning the shape puppet and ansible i started with the ansible because ansible is very easy to learn once you learn the ansible then you switch to the container management tools so here we are using the kubernetes so kubernetes basically used for the containerization management systems so it is for the load balancing like how the application heal itself automatically that for that we most of the companies are using the kubernetes 
now the kubernetes is lit kubernetes is not so easy it is a very tricky part so it will take time for you to learn the kubernetes now these are the tools so there are multiple tools in the markets so don't worry you no need to learn all the tools as part of the devops engineer you start with whatever tools i am suggesting you will get the basic idea about the devops culture now once you learn the kubernetes things go with the hands on practice okay now your basic introduction for all these tools is completed now you have your application so you can download the open source applications from the github java applications or you can download the dotnet applications on which applications you want to use for development to the deployment because this is the concept of the devops devops means development and the operation team work together to deploy the application in the production environment and this is the automatic process there is no manual interventions for that now you have the project in your github now push the code from your local system to the github account okay once your project in the github you integrate with the jenkins then in the jenkins you integrate the git and the maven you need the maven maven is the build management tool which is used to build your code so once you build the code with the build management tool it will generate the artifacts and these artifacts we basically use deploy to the production server or in the deployment server so we have you need to learn the git and the maven so once you have integrated the jenkins with the git and the maven then you can start integrating the docker with the jenkins and you start creating the images for that and you can push it, you can start pushing the images to the docker of repository okay now let next one i have already discussed it's ansible then the kubernetes so this is the flow now how you can learn these technologies because these are very confusing and which one we need to start with so the best thing which i follow to learn the devops is you start with the diagrams first you prepare the flow of the devops technology how the devops will work then you start learning the tool one by one okay once you getting started the tools one by one you will get the basic idea about what is the tool and what we need to do don't go with the other tools you just stick with the one tools for the out of the one technology now once you learn all these things now it's time to switch to the cloud computing technology in the market we have the three cloud computing technology uh, azure devops aws amazon web services and third is gcp google cloud platforms so you need to pick the one of that i choose the azure devops because it is very easy to learn and on that azure devops with the eml i have created a detailed course on the udemy i will provide the link in the description so you can go with the link and you can start learning which i follow these steps to learn the devops technology so if you follow these steps i ensure you that you can learn the devops within the 6 month now here three things very important your determinations your focus and the practice the practice is very important if you want to learn the devops if you go with the theory part you cannot learn the devops 